If you ask anyone who's played it, they'll tell you that Far Cry 3 is one of the best games in the series. It changed up the gameplay and introduced the certifiably crazy villain Vas Montenegro. However, his exit from the game felt somewhat disappointing and left many players feeling as if his story was unfinished. Far Cry 6's latest DLC, Vas Insanity, features the titular villain in his own adventure and offers us a deeper look into his backstory which is actually quite worth the trip. The Vast Insanity DLC opens up shortly after he makes his exit during the events of Far Cry 3. He wakes up in a twisted version of the Rook Islands which is actually his mind. Without getting into it too much though, the DLC delves a little into the villain's backstory and explores his relationship with his sister Citra and ultimately shows us how he became as troubled as we've come to know him. The look into Vas's past is a welcomed one and makes you realize just how tragic his story really is. He was a tortured soul and the narrative shows us this in flashbacks, from his childhood to more recent points when he was a pirate on the Rook Islands. It also shows us how Citra had a hand in causing him to become a psychopathic killer. The gameplay is pretty much the same as Far Cry 6 but is presented in a dog-like format. Vas starts off equipped with a pistol and gets sent off into his tortured mind which essentially looks like a version of the Rook Islands. Defeating enemies grants you ammo and rewards you with cash. The cash can then be used to purchase permanent upgrades such as increasing Vas's health, starting a run with more money, or unlocking additional gadget slots. Aside from this, killing enemies and opening chests can reward you with passive buffs to your speed, the amount of ammo in a clip, etc. Die during your run however and you lose pretty much all of your cash and any passive buffs that you have equipped. Aside from buying permanent upgrades for Vas, there are also a number of combat trials dotted all over the map. These throw waves of enemies at you that you'll need to defeat while also avoiding death. Once completed, they permanently unlock a weapon which can then be upgraded at a weapons locker. If you don't like the stats though, they can also be re-rolled for a small fee. Additionally, there are a few Citra trials on the map and these unlock the chance to revive instantly if you happen to die in a run. The trials can pose quite a bit of a challenge, but these and the combat trials are quite rewarding if you want to increase your survivability. The gameplay loop of the Vast Insanity DLC can be quite a struggle at first, but it does become more manageable as you unlock more permanent upgrades. I died fairly early on during my first two runs and once during a combat trial, but those were the last times. I unlocked more weapons and upgrades and stayed in cover whenever I needed to and managed to stay alive no matter what was thrown at me. The DLC is meant to be a challenging affair though, but never to the point of you wanting to quit. Enemies hit hard and are incredibly accurate and the wildlife can also catch you by surprise if you aren't careful. However, if you play carefully with the right stats and weapons, you should be able to overcome any obstacle. This is especially true when considering how you can use effects such as poison to turn your enemies against each other. Vast Insanity also features difficulty levels in the form of mind levels. You start on the first level which is the base experience, however once completing it you can play subsequent mind levels up to a maximum of 5. Each one provides a more challenging experience and tougher enemies, but in turn they drop better loot and more cash allowing you to level up and purchase unlocks a lot faster. Vast Insanity is fantastic. Doing a deep dive on Vast and how he became the psychopath that he is was an interesting journey. It's a big treat for Far Cry 3 fans, but unfortunately will make little to no sense to newcomers. The roguelike elements have been implemented well into the Far Cry gaming loop, making for a challenging but incredibly rewarding experience. Vast Insanity is a great experience and it'll be interesting to see if Ubisoft can top it with the Pagan Min and Joseph C DLCs. If you enjoyed this review, please hit that like button and if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you got your hands on the Vast Insanity DLC, please let me know what you thought of the game in the comment section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.